Hello, my name is Elizabeth Perez Medina, a Master of Public Health student from Indiana University Bloomington and the current Health Coordinator for El Centro Comunal Latino, which is a nonprofit organization located in Bloomington, Indiana. In order to start um, going on uh, in our PowerPoint presentation, I would like to present a little bit more about the authors that contributed to this presentation. Cara Maffini is a doctoral student in Indiana University Bloomington and she belongs to the Department of Counseling Psychology for the School of Education. Ahmed Yusefaga is an assistant professor in Indiana University Bloomington and he works for the Department of Applied Health Sciences, School of Health, Physical Education and Recreation. Wasanta Jawardene is a doctoral student at Indiana University Bloomington from the Department of Applied Health Sciences, School of, Physical, of Health, Physical Education and Recreation. Mohamed Torabi, which is a professor at Indiana University Bloomington and the Interim Dean for the School of Health, Physical Education and Recreation. One of the purposes for this presentation is to review the literature that examined research concerning to the barriers to health care for Latinos in the U.S. policymakers. Then, U.S. policymakers should evaluate these barriers when addressing methods to remedy public health issues for this population. Through a review of the literature, we analyzed four potential barriers that contribute to lower health outcomes in the Latino community in the US. For this, I'm gonna start with the big picture. One of the main points of discussion in the public health field is the access to healthcare as an equal resource for the diverse population that coexists in a particular region or country. The context of the United States of America is an in interesting case. This in terms of the relationship between of ethnic composition, economic status, cultural values, and health outcomes. For purposes of this presentation, four potential barriers impeding Latinos from receiving proper health care will be analyzed. These variables are insurance, geographical location, communication with physicians, and the problem with the categorizations. We're going to start with insurance. Insurance has been documented that in the case of the Latinos, they have one of the highest rates of uninsured people in the U.S. The issues related to proper health care and health insurers are embedded in a larger social and institutional construct. Two salient issues that may impact many ethnic minorities in the U.S. and influence health care are socioeconomic status and racial factors. The issues of health insurance is a significant topic with no easy solution. It is embedded in a larger social context with many layers. Individual health is affected by many factors, which can also impact access to health care. Socioeconomic status and racial factors play an alarming role in the access to health care and whether the health care is proper. The lack of health insurance means many Latinos are not receiving appropriate preventive care or are not receiving treatment early on their disease. As we see in this figure, we see that Latino adults' likelihood of primary health care provider, but nativity, gender, age, educational status, and health insurance status. The lack of insurance is a significant barrier. This because it is prevent Latinos from access to primary and preventive health care. Conditions such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes can be prevented but due to the lack of insurance, Latinos face one of the highest rates associated to this health condition. Another variable which is really important in terms of the access to health care is the geographical location. Access to health care is interrelated to where people live. 
Latinos living in urban communities may experience reduced access to health care because of inadequate resource to perform essential procedures at local clinics. It is vital to analyze the connections between infrastructure and geographical location. Aspects such as transportation system, place of living, access to clinical settings are aspects that are linked to the spatial location. Adding another, another layer is poverty, which is closely intertwined with the power to influence change and contributes to the reduced accessibility of appropriate resources and proper care. Latinos are often at a disadvantage in receiving health care regardless of whether they live in urban or rural communities. It is important to analyze the geographical location because it is a key variable in terms of the understanding of health outcomes in populations. People who live in rural contexts report fewer annual visits to doctors than those who live in urban areas. Also, within the urban context, those who inhabit in segregated communities are less likely to resist, receive access to resources such as health care. This is the case of many Latinos and Afro-American communities in the context of the United States. Communication with doctors. As we know, language is a factor that poses a great challenge to Latinos receiving proper health care. Communication is important to ensure that the doctor and the patient have the same conceptual model of the illness. According to the Rose and Baker, one study found that Latinos with low English proficiency were less likely to seek services than non-Latinos who spoke English as their native language. It was speculated that these discrepancies in seeking help led to poor health outcomes. Latino children were less likely than white children to utilize public health care services. These differences were also attributed to lack of English prophecy for proficiency in their parents. One of the main issues related to the lack of language and its repercussion in the medical encounter is the challenges presented by patients at the time to follow up treatment correctly. As a result, the health condition that the patient presents remains the same or can even get worse. The term of race in public health, the problem with categories. The term race can be problematic for most of the minority groups. This is the case of Latino communities, Asians, and other minority groups that cohabiting in a social space. For example, in the U.S. Census Bureau, under the Latino category and cultural origin, many groups such as Central American, South American, Latin American, and Caribbean under the, uh, are under the same category. This result is problematic because it may affect too many, it may reflect too many issues. The underrepresentation in the national data archives and the disproportionate burden of poor health outcomes in comparison to non minority groups. This results in an unequal treatment in terms of health. Perceived reasons for poor treatment. As we see in this figure, the most frequent self-reported reasons for receiving substandard care were inability to pay, racial background, and language barriers. According to the IOM 2002, experiences of discrimination, whether real or perceived, are experiences that minority patients are, the, are likely to bring to clinical encounter, and thereby to shape, to shape their expectation attitudes and behaviors toward providers and health care system. The high rate of uninsured Latinos results in many individuals not receiving preventive care. Health problems often escalate until people finally seek help at which point they costly procedures. Racial disparities along health insurance lines reveal that ethnic minorities, including Latinos, receive fewer ki cardiac procedures than white patients. Recommendations. Due to the complexity of the Latino culture, Hispanic groups differ among 
them in terms of cultural practices, health illness perception, prevalence of dietary and lifestyle risk factors, and geographical distribution. Culturally competent interventions should be addressed to having as a base the analysis of the patient's perception of health. Policy makers become, should be conscious of the social context and issues related to health insurance for Latinos.